I'm going to show you how to set up an API 20E strip to test for Enterobacteriaceae. This consists of a series of cupules which contain the reagents for individual biochemical reactions. First of all, we need to prepare a sample to inoculate into these cupules. Flame your loop and take a sample of your unknown Enterobacteriaceae. Take three to four colonies and inoculate into five mils of water or saline. Remember to flame the neck of your bottle as you go. Flame your loop and mix your sample vigorously to disperse the inoculum into the water. You should be able to see a nice cloudy solution. We're now going to add 5 mils of water into the little holes in the bottom of the tray. This stops the strip from drying out when it's incubated. When the water's dispersed, put the strip into the tray. Using a sterile Pasteur pipette and a teat, we're going to add our solution of bacteria into the cupules on the test strip. It's easier to do this when the strip is on a slant. Try to add the bacteria by running them down the edge of the strip and try not to introduce air bubbles. The cupules with a little box underneath need to be filled up right to the top. For example, the citrate cupule. The others just need to be filled to the lip of the cupule. Keep filling across the strip until all the wells are full. When you finish filling your strip with the bacteria, make sure you discard your pasta pipette into the pot of chloros provided. We're now going to overlay the cupules that are underlined with some mineral oil. This will exclude the air and create anaerobic conditions. Cover your strip with the lid provided, label with your name and place for incubation at 37 degrees overnight. After incubation, some of the tests will need to be developed using the reagents provided. Add TDA reagent to the cupule marked TDA. Add COVAX reagent to the cupule marked IND for INDOL. Add reagents VP1 and VP2 to the cupule marked VP. Add reagents nitrite 1 followed by nitrite 2 to the glucose cupule.
allow these tests to develop for a few minutes before reading the results. We've now developed our test strip and are ready to read the results. We use the chart above to determine what those results are. There must be some yellow colour in the sugar tests for them to be positive. And note the pink ring on the indole test. We're going to score the strip as a series of numbers on the paper strip provided. We then use these numbers to look up the organism in an API book. The first test result would be negative. The second one is negative. The third one is positive. So for that three, it gives you a score of four. So the first number in your numerical sequence will be four. We continue across the page until we generate this seven figure number. As you can see we've generated a seven figure number which we've looked up in the book and it shows you we have a very good identification to species level for E. coli.